It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Friday, the 26th of February. I'm James Spann. Weather for the weekend, beautiful. Active weather next week. Any chance of severe weather as March begins? We'll talk about that. Here we go. Check it out. This is the water vapor satellite view. The trough that brought the cooler air off the east coast. Very dry air mass. The sky bright and sunny. Temperatures in the low 50s in most spots today. Birmingham at 51. Weather for the weekend will feature a warming trend around the nation. Coldest here over the Great Lakes and the Northeast. And a very, very quiet day. I mean, uh, coast to coast. No issues with winter storms, floods, tornadoes, severe storms. That's a good thing. This is the rain for the next five days. Valid through Wednesday morning of next week. About one half inch for the northern part of the state. Lighter amounts down to the south. And, of course, the question involves the system doing here Tuesday night. So let's take a look at the new model data, the 12Z GFS, valid tomorrow at noon, troughing on the Atlantic seaboard, moving east. And down below that, a beautiful day. We start the day in the mid-30s. The high tomorrow will be around 60. And like the day, should be hard to find a decent cloud in the sky. Sunday, mid to upper 60s are likely. And, again, the sky bright and sunny. Monday, a weak front drifts in here, and that could bring a few scattered showers. Nothing widespread, nothing heavy. Now, Tuesday, the system gets its act together to the west. All of a sudden, this is now coming in a little farther to the south. It's got the surface low at midday Tuesday around Texarkana. And this is suggesting there could be some snow for places like Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Fayetteville, Arkansas, with a 1031 high bringing down some cold air back on the north side of that thing. We'll go to Tuesday night. A broad low is pushing northeast through East Tennessee and the Appalachians. And again, that's suggesting some rain. And a lot of that rain is actually post-frontal. And again, this is not really a classic severe weather look. And again, back in the cold air, some risk of snow from northeast Arkansas up to near Cleveland and Erie and Buffalo. We'll check the European Tuesday night. It's got the surface low south of Detroit, pretty deep, 980 Five millibars with a trailing band of showers and some thunder down here. But again, that's not really a severe weather look. So again, uh, we'll expect a band of showers and storms Tuesday night, very early Wednesday morning. The severe weather threat for now looks low, maybe some gusty winds. Wednesday, the system is on to the east. We've got cold air advection. We stay in the 40s all day, probably clouds, maybe some lingering drizzle, maybe a few flurries up in the northeastern corner of the state. That'll be kind of a raw day and then on thursday that is gone we should start the day around freezing the high will be in the upper 50s and this is a week from today friday march 4th troughing to the east a brilliantly sunny day and a good chance we see low 60s this is the end of the forecast period monday march 7th little ridge building north of the state and if that's right the weather would be dry and pleasant Check the teleconnections, Arctic Oscillation. This coming off the European kind of stays negative into March. And the NAO kind of bouncing off the neutral line, but mostly in negative territory. But you go to the GEFS Ensemble, and again, we see no really cold air. Uh, we're looking, we're all looking for that late season cold snap not showing up now. In fact, it's got a high of 70 out there around March the 11th. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video here will be Monday morning at 7 o'clock. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have the videos tomorrow and Sunday. And if you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side. ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.